sleep again last night it was kind of an eventful night um she woke up around two and Nick tried to give her her bottle but he didn't realize the top wasn't on fully so it kind of leaked all over her so she was drenched in milk and she was screaming she was not very happy she was screaming and screaming and screaming because I'm sure she was cold it had to have been cold so that woke her up and then we had a lot of trouble getting her back to sleep and then she kind of was just off and on sleeping the whole night. Nick felt horrible for that happening but I told him that's life. Sometimes accidents happen. It's not like he realized that the lid wasn't on it and he didn't do it on purpose but she, uh, she had a tough time after that. She was really gassy all night again for some reason and she just kept waking up and crying and I felt so bad for her so I actually brought her in bed and tried to hold her and soothe her that way. Nothing was working so she's taking a little nap now. She, uh, she's been sleeping for probably about 45 minutes now so I'm hoping she'll sleep a little bit longer because she really needs her sleep. She was exhausted so. Ollie's been a good boy. He's just sitting on the couch with mommy, cuddling and chewing his bone this morning. But he's being good. Daddy's at work again. Nick had to take my car to work today because his car, he has a Dodge Challenger for his car. And I have an SUV, a Dodge Nitro. But his car um, isn't good in the bad weather. And this morning, we woke up to about an inch of like slush and ice on the ground so it was really yucky out there was like icicles hanging from all the trees and from like all the um, electrical wires and stuff so it was a yucky yucky morning I think it's starting to clear up now it looks like the sun's trying to come out but Brooklyn and I originally had plans to go out and do some Christmas shopping for Nick today but since he took my car his car is kind of hard to get her car seat in and out of the back because it's really really small so he's coming home for lunch so we might swap cars then so I can take her out later to get some Christmas shopping done but we'll see we'll see how it is out there at that point because I don't want to take her outside in the bad weather good morning little miss what are you doing with your hands in here oh big stretch big stretch did you have a good nap did you have a good nap? Say good morning, guys. I just woke up from a really big nap because I didn't sleep last night at all. Yes, yes, right? You tell them. Say, but I do look super cute today. I got my red bow in my hair. What are you doing with those arms? <laughs> You silly girl. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're happy. Did you have a good little rest? I'm so happy you did. You're a sweet girl. So guys, I am outside taking Ollie for a little walk to go to the bathroom right now. It's really cold and there's ice everywhere. Like I have to be super careful when I'm walking because I will slide because of all this ice. Like, there's like a layer of ice all over the ground. And Ollie wants to eat it. But that's not snow. That's all ice. It's all like slush. They originally said it was supposed to warm up today. But trust me when I tell you, it's not warm. It's really cold and it's been like sleeting on and off all day. So I was thinking about taking Brooklyn to go Christmas shopping. 
I don't think that's gonna happen because I would hate to take her out when the roads are bad and icy and once it gets icier at nighttime too and it's really cold. So I'll probably wait till tomorrow. It's supposed to be like 50 degrees tomorrow. So I'll probably just go tomorrow and do it then because at least that way she won't freeze her butt off. Like you hear all the slush as he's walking? Look at all of it, it's crazy. Be careful else, don't fall. See, there's like footprints in it. This is all. All ice. You hear it? All ice. Oz, be careful, don't fall, okay? It's cold out here, Ollie. It's still coming down, I don't know if you could hear it, but I keep getting hit in the head with it, too. It's really cold. I don't know about you guys, but I am personally not ready for winter or the cold weather. I am not a fan of it. I'd much rather like fall. Ollie thinks he's a tough guy. He's barking at our neighbor who lives across the street from us. Even if he knows the people, he still barks at them. He's crazy. He wants to be tough. He wants to show them that this is his territory. Look at to get into our driveway. It's all ice. Come on, Ollie. Come on, do not rebel. Ollie, it's time to go inside. Daddy's coming home. Come on. Nick is home eating some lunch. I made some mozzarella sticks and chicken nuggets. He's only here for a little while because he has to go back to work, but luckily he works close enough that he can come home and have lunch with us, slash dinner, so it's nice. I know it's a very, very healthy dinner, but I didn't have time to thaw something and make something, so I figured this is better than nothing. He has food. Look at this sweet baby. She looks so big. Look at her cute little outfit today, guys. Doesn't she look adorable? And she just had a little nap on mommy's lap again. Now she's very happy. Oh, excuse you. She loves to sit up, I swear. This baby's gonna have abs of steel because she's constantly doing crunches. You lay her down. She does crunches to try to get back up. Hey, Oz. We have a puppy here, too. Oh, you want some loving. You wanted your butt scratched. You're a cute boy. He's tired. Is that your baby? Oh, you want to sit with baby? Just be careful. Ollie, not too much. Hey, but not too much, okay? She's just little. What's your Ollie doing to you? Is he giving you kisses? Aw. You sweet boy, Ollie. You guys best friends. You guys are so sweet together. Do you love your Ollie? You do. What do you do? Is he kissing your feet? Are you kissing baby's feet, Ollie? She's like, what the heck is he doing to my piggy toes? Say, mommy always kisses my piggy toes too. My feet must be very kissable. Oh, I know. She's so big. Look at her trying to reach for him. <laughs> Is he giving you kisses? Oh, your Ollie loves you so much. So I decided to put our first fire in the fireplace tonight. We haven't had one all year, so I figured it's really cold out. So I figured it'd be nice to have a fire tonight. So I have to take all of my fancy logs that I have in there just for decoration out and then put the regular log that I'm gonna be burning in. So we cheat, we get the logs, like the Duraflame logs, that have the paper around it to light. It makes it a lot easier to get it lit. And then we put regular wood on top of it as that log goes. So it makes it a lot easier. So 
So, so far it's pretty weak fire, so hopefully the thing will spread so it will get the whole log on fire, not just the one corner of it, but who knows. Nick normally is in charge of this, not me. But since he's at work, I figured I'd give it a shot. How hard can it be? Apparently, it's gonna be pretty hard. I'm just hoping it catches and then we'll have a nice fire in here to help keep us warm because it is really cold. Mm. All right, now we're getting somewhere. It's looking better, it looks pretty. Now the only thing we're missing still are our stockings and our garland that's supposed to be up there. So I still need to go to Nick's parents' house and find that before Christmas so I can hang our stockings up. But right now it looks pretty with just the fire going. That fireplace is one thing that really, really sold us on this house. I mean, we loved this house when we bought it and like absolutely loved it. But when we saw the pictures and we saw that there was a natural brick fireplace, we were so excited because I have always wanted a fireplace, a wood burning fireplace, because I just think it's so cozy in the winter time to snuggle up with a blanket, have the fire going, watching a movie. I don't know, it's just kind of like the stereotypical like Christmas movie kind of thing. But I like it. I really, really enjoy having a fireplace. And growing up, I never had one. So I always really wanted one. So when we were searching for our house, we saw that this one had a fireplace and hardwood floors. And it had literally almost everything we wanted. The only thing that it didn't have was a finished basement. But it had a basement that was able to be finished. So we just finished it ourselves. So this house is awesome for us. But I was so excited when I saw that fireplace when we were looking. Do you see it, Brooklyn? Do you see it? It's nice and warm. Right? What do you think? Is that pretty? Is that so pretty? Oh, you want to come see too? Okay, I got both my babies. I'm pretty impressed with how my fire's looking there. It's looking pretty nice. Brooklyn's playing on her play mat. If you hear squeaking, that's this one playing with his toy. She just hanging out on the floor playing. Well, she was happy. Now she wants to roll over, but sometimes it takes her a little while to figure out how to do it. Look at her playing on her play mat. This is the first time she actually grabbed something with it. She grabbed the star. The starfish. And she just keeps shaking it and talking to it. It's super cute. She can't reach the other ones, unfortunately, so. She can't grab them, but. The star one she could reach and she's grabbing it. Maybe Santa Claus will bring her some of those like link things to extend the other ones so they can go farther down so she can reach them too. Who knows? Maybe she was good this year.